Today's Bible reading for September 25th. As usual, we are going to be continuing from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Psalms, and the Proverbs. May the Lord God Almighty minister to our hearts. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. So, the Old Testament reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 11 to chapter 48. This is what the Lord says, the Holy One of Israel and your Creator. Do you question what I do for my children? Do you give me orders about the work of my hands? I am the one who made the earth and created people to live on it. With my hands I stretched out the heavens. All the stars are at my command. I will raise up Cyprus to fulfill my righteous purpose. And I will guide his actions. He will restore my city and free my captive people. Without seeking a reward. I, the Lord of heaven's armies, have spoken. This is what the Lord says. You will rule the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, and the Serbians. They will come to you with all their merchandise, and it will all be yours. They will follow you as prisoners in chains. They will fall to their knees in front of you and say, God is with you, and he is the only God. There is no other. Truly, O God of Israel, our Savior, you walk in mysterious ways. All craftsmen who make idols will be humiliated. They will all be disgraced together. But the Lord will save the people of Israel with eternal salvation throughout everlasting ages. They will never again be humiliated and disgraced. For the Lord is God, and he created the heavens and earth and put everything in place. He made the world to be lived in, not to be a place of empty chaos. I am the Lord, he says, and there is no other. I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper obscurities in some dark corner. I will not have told the people of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. I, the Lord, speak only what is true and declare only what is right. Gather together and come, you fugitives from surrounding nations. What fools they are who carry around their wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Consult together, argue your case. Get together and decide what to say. Who made these things known so long ago? What idol ever told you they would happen? Was it not I, the Lord? For there is no other God but me a righteous God and Savior. There is none but me. Let all the world look to me for salvation. For I am God, there is no other. I have sworn by my own name. I have spoken the truth, and I will never go back on my word. Every knee will bend to me, and every tongue will declare allegiance to me. The people will declare, The Lord is is the source of all my righteousness and strength. And all who were angry with me will come to him and be ashamed. In the Lord, all the generations of Israel will be justified, and in him they will boast. Bel and Nebo, the gods of Babylon, bow as they are lowered to the ground. They are being hauled away on ox carts. The poor beasts stagger under the weight. Both the idols and their owners are bowed down. The gods cannot protect the people, and the people cannot protect the gods. They go off into captivity together. Listen to me, descendants of Jacob, all you who remain in Israel. I have cared for you since you were born. Yes, I carried you before you were born. I will be your God throughout your lifetime, until your hair is white with age. I made you, and I will care for you. I will carry you along and save you. To whom will you compare me? Who is my equal? Some people pour out their silver and gold and hire a craftsman to make a god from it. Then they bow down and worship it. They carry it around on their shoulders. And when they set it down, 
it stays there. It can't even move. And when someone prays to it, there is no answer. It can't rescue anyone from trouble. Do not forget this. Keep it in mind. Remember this, you guilty ones. Remember the things I have done in the past. For I alone am God. I am God and there is none like me. Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Everything I plan will come to pass. For I do whatever I wish. I will call a sweet bird of prey from the east, a leader from a distant land to come and do my bidding. I have said what I will do, and I will do it. Listen to me, you stubborn people who are so far from doing right. For I am ready to set things right, not in the distant future, but right now. I am ready to save Jerusalem and show my glory to Israel. Come down, virgin daughter of Babylon, and sit in the dust. For your days of sitting on a throne have ended. O daughter of Babylonia, never again will you be the lovely princess, tender and delicate. Take heavy millstones and grind flour. Remove your veil and strip off your robe. Expose yourself to public view. You will be naked and burdened with shame. I will take vengeance against you without pity. Our Redeemer, whose name is the Lord of Heaven's armies, is the Holy One of Israel. O oh, beautiful Babylon, sit now in darkness and silence. Never again will you be known as the Queen of Kingdoms. For I was angry with my chosen people and punished them by letting them fall into your hands. But you, Babylon, showed them no mercy. You oppressed even the elderly. You said, I will reign forever as Queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about their consequences. Listen to this, you pleasure-loving kingdom, living at ease and feeling secure. You say, I am the only one and there is no other. I will never be a widow or lose my children. Well, both these things will come upon you in a moment, widowhood and the loss of your children. Yes, these calamities will come upon you. Despite all your witchcraft and magic, you felt secure in your wickedness. No one sees me, you said, but your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray. And you said, I'm the only one and there is no other. So disaster will overtake you and you won't be able to charm it away. Calamity will fall upon you and you won't be able to buy your way out. A catastrophe will strike you suddenly, one for which you are not prepared. Now, Use your magical charms. Use the spell you have worked up at all these years. Maybe they will do you some good. Maybe they can make someone afraid of you. All the advice you receive has made you tired. Where are all your astrologers, those stargazers who make predictions each month? Let them stand up and save you from what the future holds. But they are like straw burning in a fire. They cannot save themselves from the flame. You will get no help from them at all. Their hearth is no place to sit for warmth. And all your friends, those with whom you've done business since childhood, will go their own ways turning a deaf ear to your cries. Listen to me, O family of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel and born into the family of Judah. Listen, you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and call on the God of Israel. You don't keep your promises. Even though you call yourself the holy city and talk about depending on the God of Israel, whose name is the Lord of heaven's armies, Long ago I told you what was going to happen. Then suddenly I took action and all my predictions came true. For I know how stubborn and obstinate you are. Your necks are as unbending as iron. Your heads are as hard as bronze. That is why I told you what would happen. I told you beforehand what I was going to do. Then you could never say my idols did it. My wooden image and metal god commanded it to happen. You have heard my predictions and seen them fulfilled. 
but you refuse to admit it. Now I will tell you new things. Secrets you have not yet heard. They are brand new, not things from the past. So you cannot say we knew that all the time. Yes, I will tell you things that are entirely new. Things you'd never heard of before. For I know so well what traitors you are. You have been rebels from birth. Yet for my own sake and for the honor of my name, I will hold back my anger and not wipe you out. I have refined you, but not as silver is refined. Rather, I have refined you in the furnace of suffering. I will rescue you for my sake. Yes, for my own sake. I will not let my reputation be tarnished, and I will not share my glory with idols. So that was the reading from the Old Testament. The New Testament reading is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, that's Apostle Paul. His letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 1 to 16. Therefore I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one Spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all. However, he has given each of us a special gift through the generosity of Christ. That is why the scripture says, scriptures say, When he ascended to the heights, he led a crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. Notice that it says he ascended. This clearly means that Christ also descended to our lower, lowly world. And the same one who descended is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens, so that he might fill the entire universe with himself. Now, these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way before, every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly as each part does its own special work. It helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. So we as Christians pray that we continue to grow and grow and grow in the Lord and in the knowledge of God. Now the reading from the Psalms Psalm 68, verse 19 to 35. Praise the Lord. Praise God our Savior. For each day he carries us in his arms into it. Our God is a God who saves. The sovereign Lord rescues us from death. But God will smash the heads of his enemies, crushing the skulls of those who love their guilty ways. The Lord says, I will bring my enemies down from Bashan. I will bring them up from the depths of the sea. You, my people, will wash your feet in their blood, and even your dogs will get their share. Your procession has come into view, O God, the procession of my God and King as he goes into the sanctuary. 
Singers are in front, musicians behind. Between them are young women playing tambourines. Praise God, all you people of Israel. Praise the Lord, the source of Israel's life. Look, the little tribe of Benjamin leads the way. Then comes a great throng of rulers from Judah, and all the rulers of Zebulun and Naphtali. Summon your might, O God. Display your power, O God, as you have in the past. The kings of the earth are bringing tribute to your temple in Jerusalem. Rebuke these enemy nations, these wild animals locking in the reeds, this herd of bulls among the weaker cows. Make them bring bars of silver in humble tribute. Scatter the nations that delight in war. Let Egypt come with gifts of precious metals. Let Ethiopia, Ethiopia bring tribute to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord, interlude. Sing to the one who rides across the ancient heavens, his mighty voice thundering from the sky. Tell everyone about God's power. His majesty shines down on Israel. His strength is mighty in the heavens. God is awesome in his sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. So that was the reading from the Psalms. And now the reading from the Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 to 4. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And that's the reading for today, September 25th.